So I heard a lot of streamers have trouble with uh, getting their chat active. And recently I've been using a technique that I've been learning from the improv session that I went to from Ashley Christ's email. Ashley Christ sent me an email to go to this broadcast for improv and how improv can help grow your stream. What's up guys, it's JC. You may know me as JC99 at twitch.tv slash JC99. So today I'm gonna be talking about how you can get your chat to stay active. And I have some advice on how to do that. So we're gonna be talking about how you can keep your chat active and responsive because we want to make sure we engage with our community in a positive manner all right so i'm going to go ahead and share them with you right now so number one is to i just hit my microphone Number one is to talk about what your viewer has said or share. For example, if a viewer came back from a camping trip, like, hey, I just went to camping. Uh, I did some things like catch bugs, catch butterflies, have roasted marshmallows, etc. And you, the streamer, can ask, what else did you do? Did you guys go hiking uh, at all? Like, um, if you do something like a follow-up, like, I think it's called a follow-up response, or if you uh, ask them more deep, instead of saying like, oh, that's cool. If you ask them more in depth of what they did, that will get the chat going because you're engaging with the conversation in depth. Some other viewers can have some something related to say too, and that's even better because they can input their info in that. Like, like they can say something like, oh, we just had a picnic. And you can say something along the lines like, oh wow, I haven't had a picnic in forever. What did you guys eat? Number two is to talk about the game or genre that you're streaming. If you have nothing else to talk about that's going on in your viewers' lives or in your life, maybe you could talk about the genre or the game that you're talking about. Like, what's their favorite character in this game? Or do they love to voice act? Or what's their favorite movie and stuff, etc. Like anything that you're broadcasting or sharing with your audience, you can talk about these things and that goes in depth. And from there, you can talk about the characters the roles if they're a good character uh, or you know something about them is funny something about them is annoying and what you want to change for you know like <laughs> basically anything that goes in depth as long as it's positive and meaningful or you know as long as it goes in depth but yeah you got to be sure that it's positive and my last step is to ask more questions or ask questions and go from there literally like i said in the last two steps is to ask a question to the to the viewer or for the people who just came in like hey not just questions like hey how are you ask them more in depth like hey since you just followed do you uh like this game are you a fan of this game are you a fan of anime are you a fan of adventure open worlds are you a fan of chatting like podcasts or just chatting genres on twitch etc you can talk about stuff like that and that will surely get the chat active so hopefully this video helped you guys and if so let me know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up if you can it would really mean a lot to me uh, i'm here learning too if you guys have any suggestions for me uh, go ahead leave some suggestions in the comments and i'll be sure to uh take them and uh you know let you guys know how they work and if you guys need any advice at all, you guys can go ahead and reach me out or I can leave a link to Ashney Crisis Twitch and YouTube channel as well as the improv video that I was in uh, that, you know, taught me how to make my chat more active. Because I recently had an inactive chat for some streams, but until I watched this broadcast for improv, it really did help me keep the chat going. And it was a lot of fun, really, because, you know, no one no one wants to stream to, to people who don't chat at all, and that's perfectly understandable. That's why you have to make the move to ask your viewers some questions in depth, something meaningful, something something interesting like you know how did their trip go what did they do and such you know never respond to the chat with oh that's cool nice or you know short responses like that isn't going to lead to anything because if you get responded with that then like like whenever people respond to me that way like i don't know what to do next but whenever they ask things in depth that's when they start talking so yeah try to take it in the viewer's perspective that will help grow your stream tremendously if you can engage with your chat like that so hopefully this video has helped you guys let me know i'll see you guys next time all my social medias are down below again i stream at twitch.tv jc99 hope to see you guys there take care and peace